All right, so we'll jump into the first headline today. Uh, forget exercise, these mice got ripped with gene therapy. So this headline is based on a study that was done by the Washington University Medical School in which a bunch of mice received gene therapy that led them to quickly build muscle mass and reduce obesity, even while they were eating a diet high in fat and not exercising. So the study targeted a specific gene called FST, which is responsible for making a protein called folostatin. And that's a protein that's responsible for the growth of muscle and controlling metabolism. What they found is that after four months, the mice in the study more than doubled their muscle mass and their strength levels. They also had reduced damage from osteoarthritis, less joint inflammation, and had healthier hearts and blood vessels than mice that didn't receive gene therapy. I mean, honestly, sounds pretty amazing to me. Um, if and when this therapy is ever available to humans, it won't be for all of us to get jacked. It won't be for treating serious conditions like muscular dystrophy or severe obesity. Um, so question to you all to kick off the conversation today. If we do get to a place in the future where we can edit human DNA, genes to deliver desirable characteristics, things like muscle mass, even eye color, aptitude for math, et cetera, should we and where should we draw the line? Yeah, I, I'll I'll start if, if you want. Um, but I, you know, I think I I come from like the from like a high level perspective of just giving people like full bodily autonomy, whether that's they want to get a different hair color, eye color, or smarts, whatever it may be. Um, I feel like it gets tricky if you start to tell people what they can and can't do like with their bodies, you know. Um, so I think that that's interesting. But I also think we like get into a dangerous space when you like try and draw the line on like scientific discovery right like um because you mentioned like the, the actual applications of this it's not like we're necessarily going to be able to go buy the like the, the magic pill that's gonna let us sit around on the on the couch all day um but however i think like it is really interesting for the people that might really have a benefit from it so like i don't want to be the person that's going to say um oh yeah there might be this edge case of the future where this guy might look a lot better than me and have bigger muscles but um i don't want i don't want that to stop from people getting like proper care and things of that nature yeah for me i think if we're talking about uh you know pre-birth um you know choosing for example what your child might look like um i i am fall into the camp of i'm game for it if it's relative to the health of a child um for example if you know you have certain conditions um that the child might have um i think it gets a lot trickier when you start trying to decide what features um someone should have right um or or what they might look like uh in the future i think that's where i probably fall in the camp of not so much why not so much um because i think that maybe this is my like mentality just old school mentality to a certain extent in that realm but i think there's a certain magic personally to like creating a being and having that being be their own person um and not having a say in what that being will look like for example like i think to a certain extent if you're i mean i'm not a parent so you know but i think to a certain extent if you're a parent at some point you should let your child like become the person that they want to be. And if you start manipulating who they're going to become before they're even born, I feel like maybe that's not such good parenting. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I, I'm like intrigued to see where this goes. Like, I mean, I feel like you get really out of hand. I also feel like mice getting jacked up is a really good premise for like a comic book movie. Um, it's very, uh -huh. uh, whatever. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but it is, it's like weird. Um, I also feel like we'll start looking alike because people do it with plastic surgery anyway. Like you just notice a lot of like influencers kind of look, start looking very similar to each other. So, and then also beauty trends, they're trends. Like, you know, for a while it was all about tits and now it's ass. So <laughs> I just feel like it's a, it's such a weird place to go, but I'm with, Colin on this one like you, it's hard to tell people what to do with their bodies but it's also a really weird experiment meaning I'm I am a believer it's like you're born it's kind of cool to be born the way that you are without having a choice 
Yeah, for sure. And to add like to the, um, like the point with pre-birth, um, I feel like there's gotta be, it's so hard, but there's maybe like a handful of things like we would agree on. Um, like if a baby would be born like, with like a severe disadvantage, like maybe it's a heart condition or like there's certain things, you know, obviously you're not going to want to like wish that upon a little, a little baby. And if you have the means to adjust that, like by all means, yeah. Um, but if you're going to like change the, like, I don't know, maybe like if you, if there's some way be like a, a, a personality thing or something like along those lines. Um, yeah. Like there's something great about just letting a person become the person they want to become and shouldn't have too much control over that. So it's, that is, it's tricky. <laughs> If you're messing with anything post-birth, everyone do what you want. Yeah, post-birth, all good. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, what's interesting is that this type of gene therapy would be applicable like post-birth. Yeah. Like It yeah. applies to existing genes that are regulating parts of your body today. It's interesting to think about different trends. It seems like, especially with appearance-based trends, you sort of get everyone coalescing around like the same trend, and then there's a swing back of the pendulum to more individuality. Do you guys see a world where people modify themselves to be like tall, well for men, tall, strong men with a blonde hair and blue eyes and you end up with like this large cohort of the population, but then everyone's like, wait, we don't actually want that and then returns to like weird individuality or like, what do you think that looks like in the future? I, I, I personally think, I think it goes like everyone sort of converges into one thing for a little while until everyone starts getting bored of being the same. I don't know, I think of like the straight hair trend when I was in, at least when I was in middle school, everyone like straightening their hair to death and then all of a sudden curly girls being like, wait, no, I have cool hair, you know? And I feel like it's the same vibe. Like everyone becomes the same person. They're like, actually, you know what? I don't want to be like my next door neighbor. Instead, I want to do something different. And all of a sudden people start doing really quirky things um, to just have some sort of form of like expression of creativity. Yeah, I think if there was just like, essentially full access like there's no pricing um things that like will keep certain people out or or like like the things that come with supply and demand like yeah of course like we've already seen it with social media um like you have like pulling at the extremes so i think you'll have people going to those extremes too um from like i mean it's it's kind of like sad you know um how much influence it actually does have on people and how like they adopt that into like themselves um kind of uh but yeah i think you would for sure see that but i I think that um, when you think of uh, the fact that if you, if you could really have like somebody all of a sudden get muscles from a pill, like that's probably gonna be pretty expensive. So maybe not everybody's gonna have that access. It makes sense. All right, we'll move on to our first cartoon of the day. Uh, cartoonist, do you have something funny for this one? Yeah, I didn't get as far as I would like. I had a lot of <laughs> ideas from what you guys were saying, but... Um... Here we go. Can you guys see my screen? <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually the second gene was missing there. There we go. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gene therapy. Then we have uh, some quick. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> um what else and then the last one is the kind of what sarah was saying the the mouse getting ripped <laughs> what, what is it what is he oh the puzzle like the, yeah he's the just like <laughs> looking at the whole cheese puzzle <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, the last one that I was trying to work on was also what Sarah was saying and draw like a baby with a giant butt and then parents being <laughs> like, oh, we shouldn't have picked this trend. <laughs> that's, nice. that's all I got. Awesome. That's Thank good. you.